Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and we have a pretty lovely lock here today. This is a Bergwachter Gamma 700 with massive messing. Um, top security made in Germany. Now, this, uh, this was kindly sent to me by Daz Evers, amazing lock picker. Um, I'm sure you are aware of his channel. If not, then go check it out. Um, but this, yeah, this lock is a surprisingly good lock. Uh, I say surprisingly, it's, it's not surprising it's a good lock. Uh, it's more surprising how good a lock it is. Um, ball bearing mechanism um it's got a, i don't really know what this plastic cover does apart from look kind of nice but it's a nice thick brass lock nice um 10 mil shackle on it the keyway is extremely paracentric um or at least for this type of lock it does have spool pins in but it also has spool um key pins if you you can't really see here i can try and get some light in um best i can but can you see the key pins yeah you can are spooled um which is really strange. I don't know of many uh, padlocks with spool key pins, and certainly if you get into an overset situation, that's it, end of story. The tolerances in this lock are fantastic, and the spool pins are really thin. When you get into a false set, you need manual counter rotation, um, and the way to get around that is, of course, to have really good control of the core. Plenty of ways around this. Um, Daz Evers, Lock Picking Lawyer, Potty Pie have all got their own techniques. Um, I use a classic, which is to find a tension tool which um, fits tightly top of the keyway and allows me to uh, manually counter rotate the core to pick it. In terms of what tools to use, um, no joke, I kept these aside because this is how many different tension tools and picks um, I went through before I settled on. Um, and this wasn't meant to be that way, but a pick that Daz Evers made himself and a one mil, yeah, uh, attention, uh, top of the QA attention tool. Um, so yeah, I, I tried a, a load of my favorite sorts of commercial picks and homemade attention tools, but yeah, that, that, uh, didn't really work out very well. So let me go grab a vice, throw this in, we'll have a bit of a pick and hopefully get an open. Okay. So we're in the vice and here is the key. Doesn't look anything special, but trust me, the uh, low cut pin one here really does affect how you can pick pin two and three, especially in that tight keyway. It's a very unforgiving lock. Um, now, in terms of tension, we've got this one mil tension tool and it does fit in nicely, not to force it and damage the keyway though. And to pick it, well, um, might just start with this Daz Evers pick and go in and see where we get to. Oh, that says pin one. Again, got to pin two. Really make sure that you, uh, what's this? Get up under those pins. Pin three, going back through. Um, if you catch it and you think you've overset a pin, just let go with your thumb a little bit. And you can usually get it back in. Pin five. I think that's set, but I'm not entirely convinced. Okay. Um, so five, four, three. Hmm. Was that? Three there, just trying to, no, okay, fair enough. Uh, five seems set, six. I swear six set, five, four. And we're open, that was uh, three, and here we go. Um, that lock takes a while to learn, it really does. It's not easy, and you need to have excellent control um, over the counter rotation of the core. If you've ever picked one of these, you'll exactly know what I mean. And if you get used to picking a lot of padlocks with spool pins, and you think, you know what? I just want an extra challenge. I need something which will make me concentrate just that little bit harder and, and really listen to the lock and get that placement and you know get that right tool combination. Then I really would suggest try to get yourself one of these Bergbach to gummers. I, I think that it's just that little bit extra on top of your standard um, you know, six pin, spool pin, Euro style lock. Anyway, hope you like that. Um, love this lock. Hope you did too. If you've got any comments about it, 
any techniques you've used on this lock, if you've got experience with this lock, let me know down below. I do read all your comments. I reply to as many as I can. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. And of course, I will see you all next time.